Well, guess what? The train is back. Hey, y'all! Hop aboard! Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Today, we have Eddie Pepitone with us. He's an actor, he's a comedian, he's a writer, he's a philanthropist, he owns museums. Philosopher. He's a philosopher. Eddie, welcome to Two Live Jews. Oh, it's so great to be all those things. Hi, everybody. Eddie, you're also, now, uh, people don't know this about you. You're, you're half Jewish and half Sicilian. That's right. Um, it's sort of like I will bargain with you and then kill you. There's a lot going on. Yeah, it's a war going on inside there. Which part is which? Talk about, you know, in your career, in your family, in your acting, which part predominates? Boy, that's a tough one, you know, because there's so much guilt. You know, my mom's Jewish, so I'm part of the tribe. My dad's Sicilian. Mm -hmm. My dad was a little more dominant, which is why, you know, I'm a combination of Jackie Gleason and Thich Nhat Hanh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. So, you know, we, how do you deal with that? Have you recently been getting into uh, meditation and things like that? Yes, because because of this tremendous, you know, it's like I have this tremendous Sicilian anger and then, you know, the Jewish introspection says, what are you doing? So I've gotten into Buddhism, um, which says that nothing exists. I don't know if you're familiar with Buddhism, but their main tenant is that we everything is an absolute illusion. And I like that because it means that Nothing has happened. I have a Buddha sculpture in my, my yard, which my mother likes to say is, why do you have a false prophet in your yard? <laughs> it is, obviously, Buddha is a false prophet, according to the Jews, because Buddha doesn't worry. Right. And is not attached to things. Speaking of non, speaking of non, non attachment, let's go. They now, do believe in suffering. In life is suffering. Life su is suffering. And, and who can deny that? You know what I mean? I mean... I think he nailed it on the head. Life is suffering. He definitely was part of my, he, the Buddha definitely saw into my family. Were you growing up, like your father and mother were like, what were the dynamics like in the house? My dad could go from singing opera, and he was a big classical music buff and big opera buff, you know, the whole Italian, you know, opera blasting in the house. Um, and then it would turn on a dime if he didn't like something that was going on. And then my mother would be, you know, she would turn it on him and guilt him out. And I would just be, I was trying to always be the peacemaker, which is why I think I'm a comedian. I'm basically trying to make peace with my comedy. Which is why you're going to be sent to the Knesset. Uh, and you're going to have to make peace between the, uh, the Israeli army and the Palestinians. That is our thing for you. I think we should also get to, people are probably watching this saying, oh, I, know who, him. Who, who, I know him, this mm -hmm. guy, I know this guy. Can you give us a little bit of uh, some of the stuff that you've done so people could now finally sit back and say, that's how I know him. I, I used to be a regular on the Conan O'Brien show when he taped in New York. I was a plant in the audience, the angry guy in the audience who would get furious at uh, the fact that he was uh, there at the Conan O'Brien show on the wrong night. And then I've done the Sarah Silverman show. I've done It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. I've done uh, Monk. I've done, uh, I'm, I'll be on Weeds this season Great. with Mary Louise Parker. Um, you know, I, I've done a lot of Comedy Central shows. So, you know, you and I've been in the movie Old School. And, and none of this is to brag or make your watchers and listeners feel less than. If you, if you put your nose to the grindstone, you can have what I have, which is a 1988 BMW. Talking about tenacity, and Jews and actors. Is there a common thread there? And can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, I had to have tenacity and persistence in Brooklyn because, uh, you know, the odds are stacked against you. Everybody is walking around in Brooklyn going, oh my God, not another day. What do you call the planet Earth? I call the planet Earth a big ball of dirt. And I think that's my Buddhist training, you know? It's like, now I just look at everything objectively. Like I'm on a big ball of dirt, spinning in infinite space, and I just open my window here in North Hollywood and yell out, what do you got for me today, big ball of dirt in an infinite universe? So, you know, that's, that's beautiful because really, we're all just made of dust and light from a star. 
you know, I find that comforting, by the way. I find that science is dovetailing uh, with religion lately. Like all the scientists and the physicists are, tr are, are like coming to this same conclusion that we're all, you know, that we're just dust, that we're, you know, let's not get the emotions involved. And that's where the Jew and the Italian thing really screws up because all they want to do is be emotional like you it, it would be funny though if they were like you piece of stardust you <laughs> piece of stardust what are you doing to me right. that's the that's the, uh, the 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 internal conflict but out of that conflict comes tremendous comedy tremendous pathos and Jackie Gleason said this comedy without pathos is like a meal without bread well, Gleason should have cut out the the bread, the the, the flour and and the sugar, Gleason. But yeah, I, I I hear you. Is there anything coming up that we should look for? Anything you want to talk about? Well, I I have a, a podcast that I'm doing with three other people called the Longshot Podcast dot com. Um, like I said, I'll be on an up coming episode of Weeds. I'll be going to the Bumper Shoot Festival in Seattle, which Bob Dylan is headlining. I'm finally going to co-headline with Dylan. Now, Eddie, what is, your, what is your, your greatest love? Do you like to do the stage? Do you like to do film? Do you like to do uh, stand-up? My greatest love is the stage. Last night, I, I did a show at Largo with Patton Oswalt. He has a show uh, once a month called Patton Oswalt and friends and you know Patton's a great comedian and uh, there's nothing like being live on stage and getting adoration I am getting the adoration from the audience that I never got from my crazy Sicilian Jew parents and it's addictive I take it too that feeling it, it's you know what that's that's interesting that you bring that up because uh, the uh, the addiction thing is actually something I have to uh, watch because you know the Buddhists say don't be attached to everything. Meanwhile, I'm on Twitter 24/7 saying who loves me. <laughs> <laughs> it's Thank humility. you so much, Eddie Pepitone. Thanks so much, Eddie. Really appreciate Good it. Good seeing you. Bye bye. Talk to you soon. Thank you guys. Eddie Pepitone, Two Live Jews, Meet the Macher segment. Such a funny, talented He's person. He's great. I love Eddie. He is great. Brilliantly talented. And we always end every segment of Two Live Jews, every every show, every episode, with a Yiddish proverb. What is it this week? Well, tonight's, tonight, this Yiddish proverb really, uh, I think, uh, says it all. With time, even a bear can learn to dance. I love it. Two Live Jews, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye.